When Robert Graham opened the so-called Genius Sperm Bank over 30 years ago, it caused a media frenzy. On this estate, 30 miles north of San Diego, is housed a sperm bank said to be made up exclusively of donations by Nobel Prize winning scientists. The sperm is the property of Robert K. Graham, who has long been concerned about what he believes to be the declining genetic endowment of mankind. The better the human gene pool, the better the individuals will come out of it. And the poorer the human gene pool, the more useless and, and uh, detrimental individuals will come out of it. I'm interested in improving the human gene pool. Officially called the Repository for Germinal Choice, its goal was simple but innovative. Graham would pre-screen men based on their intellectual pedigree. Once approved, a donor sheet listing their IQ and academic accomplishments would be mailed to interested shoppers. Over 200 progeny were born from genius sperm, children he hoped would better the human gene pool. The question is, did it work? So 30 years ago, what Robert Graham tried to do in manufacturing genius was hugely controversial. But nevertheless, he was inundated with people who wanted to utilize his services, like a couple that lives in this building here in New York City. Before finding the repository, Adrian and David Ram tried for years to conceive naturally, but with no success. At what point did you realize there was something wrong? We visited the doctors, and she turned out to be exceptionally fertile, and I was exceptionally infertile. Adrian wanted the experience of birth, so adoption was out of the question. After hearing about the repository on TV, they decided to check it out. So what did you actually read about the repository that struck you? Really, the basic thing was the research into the donors past and their genetics and their health history, number one. But number two would be the, what, what they had accomplished. That these the donors. These people were successful, the donors, yeah. The Rams applied and their application was quickly accepted. I can't believe you still have this brochure. The repository for germinal choice not only enables the wives to become mothers, but increases the chances of giving their children a genetically advantaged start in life. And these are the donor profiles. You mm -hmm. still have these as well? Each donor was given a color-coded ID to protect their identities. Donor Clear and Donor Fuchsia were at the top of the Rams list. Outstanding intellect with exceptional athletic ability, Northwest European, blue eyes, fair skin, blonde hair, um, professor of a hard science at a major university. He has produced outstanding research. So would you say your first child has outstanding intellect with exceptional athletic ability? Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these donors sound pretty extraordinary. Executive aerospace scientist, graduate involved in genetic research. But I mean, I would have a hard time with these. On paper, they're, they're all amazing. David, I just have to ask you, as you're thumbing through some of these donor profiles and seeing these extraordinary accomplishments and physical characteristics, did you feel at all any kind of inferiority complex or insecurities? Well, there was some insecurity, but not about them. Their part is done. You know, they've provided the sperm. The really difficult part, in my view, is raising them and being a father. And that's going to be up to me, so. The decision had been made and an order placed. Donor Clear, professor of a hard science at a major university, outstanding intellect, and exceptional athletic ability. So this big canister shows up in the mail. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it shows up FedEx. <laughs> yeah, and then, like a sci-fi movie, you <laughs> take the lid off the tank and all this smoke comes out and everything. It was a learning experience for me. It was an eye-opener, to say the least. 